Ah. <sighs> right. That's them cleared out the way, I reckon. Right, hello everybody! Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, hello! What is up, Leek? And welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. I'm so sorry I had to clear out a pesky moonshine business thingamajiggy right there. A bootlegger, as you will. Um, but today, we're going to be going through my top five favorite Red Dead Redemption 2 Online horses once again. I did do this video, I don't know how long it was ago. But um, it got a really good reception. People were saying that some of my horses were a correct choice. Other horses should have been replaced. But now it's been a couple months down the line. There's been a Gypsy Cop added. So does that fit in the new top five? Who knows? But we're going to go into the stable. We're going to look at all my horses. But we are going to go through from five to one. So number five um, it's not as number five meaning this is number five is the worst one. It's a, a meaning the first one. So number five. And then the best horse is number one. So let's go into manage horses. Unfortunately, Shadow, you don't class, but your your breed does class. The Norfolk Roaster does class. Boris, you're also not in it as well. You just missed out. But at number five, we have Sparrow here. Now, Sparrow is the Gypsy Cob. So the Gypsy Cob does make it into the new JP top five favorite horses. Um, as we can see, at level four bonding, we have both maxed out health and stamina stats with 10. So that is really, really, really good. Really good. You've got the stamina for days. You've got the health to re to literally soak in a couple of bullets before your horse goes down. The speed, however, is at eight. So pretty high up, pretty quick horse. Acceleration is at that seven. I think seven is like the benchmark for most horses uh, in this game. Uh, handling is standard as well. And if we go onto the info page, uh, you can see, obviously, the colour, the male, it's a male, uh, the class is multi. I think most of the horses I actually have are multi-class, except from the uh, Arabian. But the Arabian does not feature in the top five, unfortunately. Um, but yes, the Gypsy Cob, I don't know which horse it's taken out. I think it was the Tuckerman. The Tuckerman uh, has been replaced with the Gypsy Cob. The Gypsy Cob do recommend if you get that high level ones, obviously go for those. But the low level ones, like the Stage 1, Stage 2 Gypsy Cobs, also very, 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 very good horses to get. Um, very high health and stamina stats, so definitely get them if you do not have access to the max level. But at number 4, we're going to have the Carrillo. Yes, the Carrillo. The one that I keep saying can be an Arabian, and it turns out it kind of can. Um, so the Carrillo here, at uh, um, level 4 bonding, has 9 stamina and 8 health, which again is really, 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 really good um, for a horse. I would say minimum 7 health is what you need for a horse in Red Dead Online, just just so you can soak a little bit more bullets than normal. Um, as you can see, multi-class, um, the, I don't want to say that coat name because I'll mess it up because my dyslexia is annoying. But um, we'll press back to the normal stats. So there you go for speed is maxed out at 10. So that, that is a really, 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 really good horse. Acceleration is at 8, though. So one better than the Gypsy Cob handling also is standard. So a very quick little run around, I would say. If you just want to quickly do that moonshine business or you quickly want to do get that collectible on that map and you want to get there quickly, I would say Carrillo is one of your best options for getting there quickly. And obviously it's small, so that means it's going to be harder to hit with like AI shots. But AI is yeah, so accurate, is unreal. Uh, so they're going to shoot you anyway, but it's going to be a really, really nice little run around horse. Like a speed demon, if you must say. So that is why he's at number four. Number three goes to the Kulderuba. Yes, the Kulderuba. Uh, that's how I'm going to pronounce it. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, if I say any of the horse's names wrong, uh, I'm sorry. Or the species name. Uh, the names was Sparrow for the Gypsy Cob, Malcolm for the Carrillo, and Storm is here as the... Uh, called Aruba. So at level 4 bonding, again, a same as Sparrow the Gypsy Cob, we have maxed stamina and health at 10. So this is another good horse for just running and running and running, soaking those bullets in, soaking them up, and hopefully you will get away eventually. Um, but unfortunately, the speed is the lower end of 7. It's still a high end, high end 7, but uh, it's not the 8 or the 9, which is quite fast. So it is on the slower end. The acceleration is on eight though so it is still up there with the bursting of that speed of seven but it's not as quick as your carillo or your gypsy cob uh standing handler uh, handling as well uh we go on to its stats multi-class silver i uh, do recommend both coats 
for the Corderuba, the um, Carrillo, I don't really recommend both coats. I prefer the brown and white one. And the uh, Gypsy Cob, I recommend both coats as well. It's entirely up to you. Uh, but I definitely find this guy as good as like a tank for when you're doing bounties, when they have the maxing gun and they laser it. This guy is a good horse to just soak a little bit up while you get your dead eye on that guy to kill him. It's a really good horse to soak up those bullets. So that's why I've placed this guy at number three. At number two! Surprise, actually, is the Brentons. I have both versions, Kenny and Reximus. Reximus is my preferred coat, but I do recommend this one as well. It is quite a nice looking horse, if you do say so myself. But Reximus is just is just a better looking, to be honest. Um, so we go at level 4 bonding again. Good stamina, though, at 10. Max stamina, uh, but health is at 9. That's still really, 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 really good. Uh, the multi-class, you can see Brenton, the Marple Dapple Bay. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, but we will go over to its speed and acceleration stats. 9 speed. That is really, 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 really good for a horse. It can actually get there quickly, run away. But it is on 7 acceleration so this is sort of the opposite to the um, Carrillo we just looked at it seems like the stats have switched around so this guy is more fast but is slow getting off the mark but once he gets off the mark he's got that speed to keep going and going and going definitely I like the horse as well I like, I like the little like fluffy bits on the like hooves and on the back of the, I think it's called the ankle bone uh, same with the um, gypsy cob as well I like that feature uh, definitely prefer this horse though to a Shire. I, I like this horse a lot more. A lot, lot more. Um, definitely recommend both coats as well. I recommend both coats for all of them, except from the Carrillo. I just don't like the other second Carrillo coats. And at number one of my top five favourite horses, we all know who it is. You see his name. I shout it all the time. Here we go. It's Big Ed. Yes, but I'm joking. It's course. It's the Norfolk Roaster, Lenny. Of course, Lenny is the best horse in the game. No one can tell me otherwise. I just love this horse to bits. Uh, at level 4 bonding, we have 9 stamina. Very decent. 7 health is on the low side, but that doesn't matter because this horse is the best with 10 speed. 9 acceleration. Probably one of the fastest horses in the game, standard handling, we'll go over to his other stats, uh, multi-class again, the Norfolk Roaster, spotted tricolour, uh, triceratops, woo, no, it's tricolour, because it's, I'm guessing it's meant three colours or something, and gender male, obviously, this is, to me, the best horse in Red Dead Redemption 2, um, obviously, people are going to have other opinions on this, people are going to probably say, no, the Arabian's better, no, the, the Gypsy Cobb's better, but in my personal opinion, the, the opinion of JP, this horse is the best and I, I always have to have this horse in every character I make I have to I even our 300 subscriber horse shadow here is a, a, a Norfolk Roaster because the horse is just a beast it's, it's a lovely horse so thank you everyone so much for watching please leave a like subscribe uh, or or leave a dislike uh, entirely up to you. Uh, thank you ever so much for watching. Leave down in the comments what is your favourite horse in Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. I'll see you guys later, hopefully in another stream.